What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Chris here at Gullivala South Farm. Well, we have had a pretty incredible week of weather, I have to say. It was last Sunday, it was 62. And then it was decent on Monday. And then Tuesday it got cold. And then Wednesday they forecasted an inch of snow and we got six. And then it was beautiful on Thursday and Friday. And here we are on Saturday, snowing again. Forecasted to get three to five, looks like we're gonna get about an inch. So the weather has definitely been quite a bit on the wacky side. The one good thing about having the nice weather is uh, the sap has run and it's run well. We've actually, uh, we've been boiling now for two days, actually four days. We boiled a little on Sunday. We boiled some on Monday. Then we boiled yesterday and now we're boiling again today. And the tank was pretty well full when we started. We have a little in the collection tank and we are actually need to collect again, probably tomorrow morning first thing. It's supposed to be cold tomorrow so the sap's not gonna run. So yeah, we've had quite the week, uh, quite the week. So we are down in the sugar house, boiling and actually finishing also. Uh, we've had enough, uh, we had enough sap syrup in the pan of the evaporator that was pretty well done. So uh, we fired up the finisher. We got some in the finisher here. We're finishing off and uh, that cut that way down and we filled it back up with sap with a little bit of the residual in the bottom and now that's cranking again and uh, we're going guys, we're going full bore. So that's kind of what we've been up to this week. It's been kind of an odd week. Uh, we did work on the old Polaris four wheeler quite a bit this week too, trying to get that ready for uh, springtime because I do like to use that in the spring. Um, it's a little easier on the in the mud sometimes than uh, the Can-Am. So that's kind of what's going on guys. I figured uh, I'd kind of give you an update of what we've been up to this week. Um, Cause I really, I did the one uh, video there earlier this week when we were boiling on uh, one Monday or Tuesday, I don't remember. And I uh, haven't done much else. So being, basically just waiting on the weather as usual. We did uh, crank out a whole bunch of firewood this week. Got another cord. Uh, cut, split, and stack. So we did do that. Uh, that was, what did we do that on? I guess we did that on Wednesday, right before the snowstorm. Uh, we had a bunch of uh, a bunch of logs that we had cut and a bunch of stuff that was just ready to be uh, cut up into rounds and split. So uh, we took care of that and got another full cord of white oak and birch. It's actually really, really good stuff. It'll be great for uh, sugar next year. So that's kind of where we're at, guys. I figured to give you an update and uh, I'll uh, take you along here as we uh, finish this batch and uh, Keep on boiling. All right, guys, so uh, the batch we have in the finisher is actually getting really close. So as you can see, hopefully you can see, the temperature's just over 216 and it's starting to look pretty done. Oh, you guys fogged up there. Sorry about that. Let me wipe you off. So what I do now is I'll show you, is I have my hydrometer and as the syrup keeps getting closer, I, ch I keep checking it. Now I have some rinse water over there, so this is clean. I draw a sample off. And then done is this red line right here, which is basically hot. There's a cold line and a hot line. This is the hot line, so this is the one we're going through. So as you, I don't know how well you guys can see, but it's not done yet, but it's close. It's at about 30, and it needs to go to uh, about 32. So we're getting very, very close. So within a few minutes, this is gonna be done and we're gonna just keep checking it with a hydrometer. And uh, once we get to that hot line, that's it, we're done. We'll turn the heat way down, just keep it so it stays warm and we'll bottle it. All right guys, so uh, we're drawing off another sample here and we are very, very, very close. I think this might be it. So same thing, checking my gravity. And trying to keep it level. I'm looking for that red line, and we are there. 
we are there. So this batch is done in the finisher. We are going to grab the containers and draw it off. But that's how we can tell our syrup's done is our temperature is right around 220 and our specific gravity is good. So we're going to draw it off and bottle it and uh, keep on keeping on. All right, guys. So uh, we bottled it all and uh, here's our takeaway. Just over a gallon and a half of syrup. Uh, including the mason jar here, which I wasn't quite sure. We tried to fill a pint bottle and it wasn't enough, which unfortunately I wasted a pint bottle. Um, I could have put it in another half pint, but I'm actually starting to get low on half pint bottles. So I'm gonna have to order more. So we just put it in, uh, put it in this, and this is actually a darker syrup. Um, still fairly light. It's a grade A, but it's a little darker than the fancy we were making the first few boils. So as we get later in the season, you'll, you'll see it darkening up. But pretty good haul. That brings us uh, to basically, uh, let's see, five and a half gallons on the season. That pretty much, uh, that's not bad. I mean, we still got a lot more in the pan and we got a lot more sap in the tank and we got more sap in the woods to collect. So uh, yeah, we're making good progress, guys. But uh, yeah, that's our haul for today, what we made. So uh, anyway, guys, if you want to keep seeing these sugaring videos, please leave it in the comments. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are still enjoying these. I know it kind of is tedious. It's kind of the same old thing, but it's the season and this is kind of what we do. It's, you know, we're boiling, we're collecting, we're cutting wood. We're kind of doing this, uh, doing this all the time now. So anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, like I like to say, if you did enjoy it and you like these videos, please subscribe, hit the like button and leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. And just remember, it'll be all right.